Aqualad's probably going to always die because the AI is just going to be shit and fucking spit the fly and straight into like that. Commands like come to me or go yeah, over there. Yeah, I know. Or some sort of waypoint you can set up for. Yeah, I know. Are we back at the beginning again? Uh, no, we're... Um, yes, we are. I think we're... Uh, I don't know anymore. Yeah, we are right back at the beginning again. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's, it's, this is going to be stealing your own shit all over again. <laughs> and I don't have the patience to do that anymore. I can't spend hours and hours doing fuck the same thing. So you're saying we're not going to do a Kane and Lynch playthrough? <laughs> I could do this first one again, but I wouldn't want to do the second stealing one Stealing your own shit was from part one. Yeah, but I'd re we, we remember how to... Beat that Did four by four truck. You just had yeah, to be quick enough to get into the hole. Stealing your own shit wasn't. That was the. That was. The oh, that, yeah, that's the prison. Uh, that's yeah, it was, the. Um, it was break the bank level. The, 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 the like the one that looks exactly like uh, he. Yeah. Yeah, the first game's all right. The second game's a bit more. Completely different teams. Yeah, completely different budget. And they pixelated everything out for Yeah, to make it look like it all looked like it was looked like it. The entire game has been watched through a CCTV monitor. It's just bizarre. I don't understand what the point of that was. Know. We weren't playing fucking Manhunt. Right? Well, it didn't add anything to the game. It didn't make it look aesthetically better. It made it look worse. It was just so they could have. Uh, I think it was just because it had Lynch, lower res models. Lynch naked for the first level and blur out his cock. You could have done that without having the, <laughs> the fucking CCTV <laughs> yeah, model. I don't know. We'll do all the co-op games that we love. We'll do Army of Two, Army of Two Two, Army of Two Three. <laughs> Army of Two Three, not Army of Four. Yeah. As, as its full title wins. <laughs> Army of Two Three, we can't figure oh, out how to do follow us again. Need to pick this up again. No, uh, no, it remembers. So it remembers everything. It probably remembers. We've probably got the same XP we had as well. But uh, a little bit of cookie grinding, unintentionally. I wonder if we'll see anyone like like games like this on the new generation, or whether or not these are. Kind of a dead format now, really. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything coming up like this. Yeah, yeah. Still, we haven't actually seen any gameplay for, uh... <coughs> what? For, uh... What's that gothic one? 18, 20 or something? Oh, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a shooter, like a four-player shooter, but I don't actually know what... Yeah, what the gameplay is, is going to look like. Is it going to be, like, Borderlands or what? Hopefully, Hopefully. more kind of linear corridor levels. Yeah. I don't imagine it was a Borderlands S star, I imagine it would just be level based. These guys wish they never crawled out of the fucking sea. <laughs> Too fishy for me. Oh, I don't need that. Don't need that. No. No, so I need that. <laughs> I swear that robot was just doing the Randall walk. Might <laughs> well have, but I think they're a big fan. A big fan of the show. In a minute, it'll start singing, Would you like to suck my cock, Berserker? <laughs> K. 
Kama. I was listening to the nearest. Do you want to say that again? I was listening to the nearest, uh, what say you were oh, yeah. Yeah, the bit where Sal was talking about how he slept through a burglar, he made me laugh. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, the cops just like, come on, we gotta go! Yeah, clearing so, the what, house you... and fucking Sal's in his pants. <laughs> why do you want some guy in his fucking pyjamas as backup? Well, to be fair, if you've got a fucking gun. If you're a burglar and you see Sal, you probably would think, oh, this guy's a pussy, but his pants can take him out and then the cop would just kill him. <laughs> so Sal was probably just a Just a bite. Yeah, exactly, just a distraction. Mm-hmm. They can switch. And then they're just they're, so they're an obsession with Nugget. 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 I'm only about halfway through that episode. I'm just listening to a bit of I was just listening to uh, the Nerdist episodes. Yeah. And uh, recently they started talking about more personal stuff on it. Yeah. And this one is basically them just having like a professional <laughs> argument about how Jonah was meant to be on an episode about midnight and phone cancelled at the last minute and, he was, and how they're not happy about it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. It's like, this shouldn't be a podcast. What was his excuse for cancelling? Like, well, no, he's like, he got offered a, a, a better show that was like a more of an advancement to his career. Yeah. So he decided to do that. Well, that's perfectly fine, though, isn't it? Yeah, but the fact that he cancelled at the last minute, what's yeah. his name, wasn't it? Yeah. What, Hardwick? Yeah. There's Matt on there. Yeah, he was just uh, intermediating. Well, he does. That's what he says. He, like he's when he's on a uh, four eyes and a beard. He also says he just sits back and yeah. observes and then cracks wise when necessary. Yeah. Apparently, he did that in an at midnight meeting and Hardwick snapped at him. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he hardly said anything and then he made some smart ass comment, which, which said normally would have been a professional question. Yeah, yeah. Oh right. But he, but said, he it said it in his fucking way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Hardwick was just like, shut the fuck up, man. Uh, I'm sure Hardwick's a bit stressed at the moment because I know his father passed away and stuff like that, so he's not going to be thinking of Hardwick. But it's random that they've started doing stuff slightly more professionally. You fucking <laughs> idiot! That's it! Uh, I suppose it's our fault for not waiting for him because he couldn't even get the chance to get through. You know, but you think it wouldn't activate until it had detected that old people were there. But it's like, we can't even get him now. Oh, get away, get away! No! You. I didn't even touch it, I swear to God! Oh, oh. Never got to the low level again. Uh, why does it automatically start us at the start of the level again? Why doesn't it start us there? That seems like a perfect point. It's like, okay, that's like an instant kill. Maybe we should have the level restart if they are done. No, 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 start them at the end. Start them at the right of the beginning again. This way they won't fucking... <laughs> they won't make this mistake more than twice. Five times later. Yeah, they haven't made us that, have they? Well, whoever they had fucking doing the, the games testing for it didn't grumble enough. No one tested this. We were ridiculous. Oh, I'm sure someone tested this, but they just didn't care. But I downloaded another podcast. I think it's called Kaboom or something. And it's about another. It's a bit like <coughs> people. Uh, one of the well, the reason I downloaded it is because they were doing like the. They watched Cherry 2000 and they were going to start talking about yeah. it. And I was like, alright, I'll see what they have to say about having just watched that race <laughs> thing. So I haven't watched it yet. I haven't listened to it yet, but hopefully that'll be quite cool. What their point of view on that bizarre random movie was. Oh, I've got like, fucking dozens of podcasts I've downloaded and then never even listened to. Yeah. I think I've got loads of backlogs and nerdists. I delete them all off my phone because we're eating up space when I actually have some time on put the book get them back again. Did we f- finish watching all of that woman's movie? Yes. Like we, we watched Cherry we watched Cherry Two Thousand, we didn't watch <laughs> No, we didn't watch anyone near all of uh I can't remember her name, yeah. Melanie Griffith? That's it. Yeah. No, I just happened to look through uh through IMDb because we watched one thing she was in and there was like a load of other yeah, that's what I mean. Did we watch any of the other ones that you've got? Because um, we watched Sherry 2000. No, yeah, I, yeah I, watched, I watched the other ones on my own. Yeah, right. Because I didn't think you would have been interested in them. Yeah. Some of them were a bit arty. Yeah. There was one with James Woods, oh, yeah. where they were like, and uh, the kid played Connor in Angel. Yeah, yeah. And they're like junkies. Old Melanie Griffith. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't want to watch old Melanie Griffith. Um, yeah. There was another one where, uh, what's his name, the old Batman, not Adam West, Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, uh, 
like rented a room from her and her husband, and he like turned out to be a psychopath, <laughs> like fucks up their lives. Yeah. Uh, the guy almost went to prison, but then she tracks him down and she fucks up his life and steals all his money. Oh, wonderful! Like how if and does someone fuck a toaster? Does someone fuck a toaster? <laughs> I do not think anyone fucks a toaster. I also do not know why the fuck you are asking me if anyone fucks a toaster. Because that's what happens in Cherry 2000. It's not. <laughs> it's what you randomly thought would happen from having never seen it, but thinking you had. No, I just thought that's what my prediction was. I was like, oh, if I'd written this. No, you didn't. That's what I told you about. You like, oh, is that the movie where they put the AI in the toaster? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. It wasn't in the trailer. Yeah, well, that's because I thought I'd heard that somebody put AI in the toaster, but I was presumably just getting her crossed over with a toaster from Red Dwarf. And no one ever touched the do. toaster in Red Dwarf. There's still time in the new series. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Talkie Toaster's dead and they said build it again. Well, they could build it again. It was always a popular, it was always a fan favourite, I think. <laughs> As a cosplay, I want to see somebody as the t- as talking <laughs> to us. <laughs> well, the you cosplays you want to see seem to be people in boxes <laughs> or orbs. Like you're obsessed with me cosplaying as Death Star. And Ian and our friend Ian is a Super Star Destroyer. This because I want to see him run at you full speed, impaling you. <laughs> I think that's just that. I mean, that would be very popular. At you want to see Ian impale me, do you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not sexual, I think. Of course not. Let's ask Freud what he has to say about that. He'd probably say that it was something. You was like the penis! Thank you, Freud. <laughs> Is he, yeah, but you've just probably given him enough cocaine. What are you saying? Enough cocaine and everyone likes the penis. Prove me wrong. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I'll, I'll leave that experiment to someone That's else. There's a Channel 4 documentary there. <laughs> How much cocaine do you have to take before you like the penis? Who lives in a house made entirely of cocaine right, penises? Do we get him near the laser? Yeah. Let's go slow and see if we could get him in there. Oh no, we've still got to do this part first. It's the flame room for us. This <laughs> is, see, this, flame off! This is like uh, an area of uh, the crystal maze that didn't get used. <laughs> Somewhere Richard O'Brien's running around talking about his mother. And then the other version of him is running around being shit. He's still alive, right? Richard Bryan? Yeah. Yeah. Was it... And someone to... Her, I, might, I think it was, might have been the woman that played Mumsy died. Oh, more than likely. I yeah. remember hearing someone from Crystal Maze died. The Crystal Maze died. <laughs> it might have been... Well, wasn't it... I think it, when it's, it well, No, it's not the other dude. It's not the guy from Sex Pistols. Yeah, the one you never remember from Sex Pistols. <laughs> the one who isn't Johnny Rotten or Sid Bishop. <laughs> I should have been Ash, I don't even know what his fucking name is. And the one that isn't the other one as well. I've got his nose, I've got fucking two of them. So the one that isn't Sid Vision and the one that isn't Johnny Rotten, the other two, the two that, you know, just... Yeah, well, the other one's really funny. He was, uh, when Russell Brand did his chat show yeah. in America, he had him, Steve Summon, he had him doing the, all the music. Quite here, man. What are you doing? Ackerlad's fucked, so I just want to heal him up. Yeah, I didn't do all the music. Oh, oh yeah, I think another guy, yeah. I don't know his name, though. And he was just, like, giving him a minute go, So what do you think of that? And he goes, he's a cunt, isn't he? <laughs> but uh, Johnny Rotten's too busy loving butter now and selling out. <laughs> yeah, because he loves butter. He's fucking trying to become a politician as well. Yeah, he was a he was What an anarchist. He was a dickhead, he was. Right. Yay! Yes! And let them come to you, don't try not to get near the. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We'll tell like that, look at him, but he's fucking well close to it. Move, you fucking fish! Yeah, he's dead. Oh, Aqualad, you fucking fishy shit. You fucking bitch finger. What would Captain Bird's I say? You tell you to get rid of fucking Captain F- F- Aqualad. Shit. I'm sure we try and put him into food. <laughs> Chicken of the sea. <laughs> he 
he's, I just can't believe it. It's just like, oh. So we managed to get him through there, but he still manages to fucking die. Because he's shit. Well, I, I hope that red light fucking drops out so we can get him at the end. Just down to two players. That's probably the end of the level. There we go. Actually, it's not as low as we can Oh, he came back alive. Came back crazy. Uh, I need to stop singing songs or we're going to get fucking sued. Start, start singing songs that don't have. Just uh, start making up my own songs. <laughs> well, yeah, just start singing songs that don't have copyright on them. What, so anything from before 1900? Yeah. Entire yellow ribbon. I don't know why the first thing I thought of. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Let me rip you tonight. Terrible song. I can't believe I never had heard that song before. Or the fact that everyone's just like. Yeah, it's a bit rapey, but it's a Christmas classic. I can't remember what it was on, but this Christmas I saw them performing on something, but they got a woman to sing the man's part and a man to sing the woman's part, which made it funny up. Yeah. <laughs> Not that it didn't get as creepy technically. No, it's, exactly, it's still just it's as bad. The song is still song. just as, work, as bad, but it's just like... At least it's maybe slightly ironic instead of full-on yeah. rapey. <laughs> The 1940s or 50s or whenever that song was made and rapey was okay key <laughs> I think that's what always makes me laugh is when people go like oh I wish I could have lived in the 1940s or the 50s and you just Why? Think, you wouldn't have wanted to live in the 1940s or 50s Especially if you were like a woman where you weren't a white middle class man, you'd have had shit old rights. You want to dress like you lived in the 1940s or 50s. Say it correctly. I'm sure they think, think it was great for 10 minutes and then they'd go and reach for their phone and go, oh, oh, my Facebook or text or anything. And then their uh, post traumatic stress. Yeah, and then their husband who suffered from PST would beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Pow! Straight to the moon! <laughs> We got two TV channels and they're both black and white. <laughs> and our TV is four inches and the screen is only half an inch. And it costs the ground. the equivalent. And we're in constant fear that the Russians are going to nuke us. Oh, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a continued thing with you. Yeah, 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 exactly. they're, always, they're always out to get there. So many Roberts. It's an endless fucking spunking Roberts. I don't think Aquaman's dead somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he is. We didn't even notice. He must oh, be dead somewhere because I, I could hear B. There he is. It's fucking flame thing. Funny way of fire on the scene, eh? <laughs> That's the one tone I was ever going to fucking say that. Funny, well, well, funny we had fire Well, storm. we had fire storm, yeah, and obviously. If we had fire storm, we wouldn't need anyone else, would we? But we. we if we had fire storm, we could just single handedly stop this plot to make a jigsaw. <laughs> funny we had jade, fire, ice, and the shittest version of uh, Atom ever. Points win prizes. <coughs> uh, psychic wave one again. Uh, Top one. I swear, when we first changed her costume, change her costume. Back that fucking costume is terrible. I swear that was white. I want you to imagine. Things. No, you're just imagine.
Yeah, I bet you imagine she was white as well. Yeah, you racist. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, she was white. I thought her top was white. Yeah, she was all white. You love albinos. It's all white on the night. <laughs> if you're not white on the night, you will be by the time Rob's finished with <laughs> Now he's doing fucking 20 year old Richard Herring jokes. Is that a Richard Herring joke? It's like he was on a, it's one of which not Judy, he just picks something in every week and like a Herring would start listing things. Yeah. And like the only one I can really remember. He starts listing whales and he goes, sperm whales? And she goes, oh, let me guess. They're all sperm whales by the time he finishes. And he goes, no, that would be disgust- disgusting stew. Humpback whales. They're all humpback whales by the time I finish with them. Does that make any sense? That's what this game is missing. Whales. A Shrek. <laughs> well, she's green. She could be a pretty Shrek. Yeah. She's not Fiona. <laughs> I'm just like... Do you have any idea what you're doing? Yeah, I was moving the, the platform to hell. Oh. But the enemies didn't really bother me and while I was doing it. They were quite considerate to be like, Oh, she's, she's busy. I don't want to hurt her while she's doing something. I have a craving for after dinner mints. It's not even after eight. Not you even can't have after eight yet. It's not even after dinner. I don't have any mints. I have some mints or mints. Mint. Well, I have mints, but I don't want after dinner mints. Mint mints. Who, who the fuck eats after dinner mints? <laughs> So I'm coming to your really fucking house nice on Christmas. Extra me. Here you go. Go on, it's only waffle thin. No, it's a packet of mints, Robin. <laughs> it's waffle <laughs> thin. Waffle thin mints. It's just mints that you squish. Yeah, yeah. Really. So much thin passe. That sounds like, like something that Heston Blumenhole would make. Did you say Heston Blumenhole? Heston Blumenhole. It's Heston Blumenthal. It's Heston Blumenhole. <laughs> I bet you get in his Blumenhole. <laughs> Killed it. Oh no, no wonder why we've still got some enemies That's to kill. Now what do we I think we've still got, we've got to push we'll this push thing. Move to one direction. Someone push it. Clearly not. So we've got to punch that. There we go. That's why we couldn't do it any further, because it had locked itself. I think we, we appear to have killed all the enemies, frankly, so this should be piss easy to do. Well, the, next, the rest of the level is just you pushing the lever for half an hour. Here we go, so another thing to smash. Oh, the enemy! Oh, it is, it's like a fucking elevator level, like yeah. um, Streets of Rage. Yeah, well, that's quite a well, that's standard. Probably, that was, I always thought that was bizarre, though, that in Streets of Rage, the enemy's secret base is hidden under a baseball field that is the entire pitch is an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> it's extravagant, I'll give it to Matt. And the fat Japanese baseball players that attack you can breathe fire. <laughs> Fuck was that about? Well, I've never seen Japanese people play baseball. I'm talking about in the game. I'm not talking about in real life. I've never watched Japanese baseball. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Japanese baseball could be extravagant. They could have people who blow fire. True. If they do, I will start watching it. Considering how bizarre Japan is, I wouldn't be surprised if they weird up certain Western sports. Although it's always amazes me how popular baseball is in Japan. Yeah. I had a friend after uni, he went oh, and did one. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went and did one of those uh, go and teach in Japan 
go and teach kids how to speak English in Japan. Yeah. And I saw a photo on Facebook of had to take his entire class to go and see like a baseball match or something. They're all wearing matching baseball uniforms. <laughs> so bizarre. Because they were completely plain uniforms. They didn't have like a team insignia or anything. They were just the the baseball hats, the baseball stripy jerseys. Yeah. I'm down. Where are you? Oh, yeah. In that cluster yeah, of yeah, enemies. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm down. I think if I was if I was teaching them English, I'd just be like, "Today, class, we're going to be watching Bridge on the River Kwai, <laughs> and then tomorrow we're going to be watching the Pacific <laughs> and uh, what's the Affleck one? Oh, well, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> just all the movies that they're all the movies to show Japan at its best in history. I'd watch that. Make them watch Last Samurai. Hey? <laughs> Make them watch. Uh, what was the new Kyai Reeves one? Oh, what Forty Seven Round in? Forty Seven Round in. Apparently, they really did not like that over there. Well, of course, it because it'd be like it'd be, it's it's one of their favourite. It would be like if, if Robin Hood. They really did a Robin Hood movie with an Asian Robin Hood. Yeah, and put magic in it and made it bullshit and completely fucking. Miss the point of the. I don't the think they story. care about the magic thing. They put magic in all their fucking legends. Yeah, but it's based on a real. It's not based on a legend. It's actually based. Yeah, on but so that all the all, all that Three Kingdoms bollocks is, isn't it? And yeah, but this but for that's one of the as far as I know, it's one of the few that they've never actually magicked up. You're going to get either of us up. Well, say something. I did. Uh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, Redcliffe, there's, there's loads of fucking over the top shit in there. Yeah, it was just over the top fighting, but that's still a, real. That's still a damn good movie. I, I learned I learned yesterday that at some point, um, yeah, yeah, Brandon Lee was meant to play Johnny Cage in the Mortal Kombat movie. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, even yeah, it'd be an interesting choice. They also offered it to um, Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves, who both turned it down shockingly. Oh, Jesse Eisenberg. I'm guessing that's there. Lex. So yeah. they were Lexus robots. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's Manta. And Manta. And uh, fishy fish, Arthur Curry. Arthur Curry, get, what? But you can't even get curry at the bottom of the sea. He's not a good Aquaman. He hasn't got the fish hand or the, the, the beard. Power beard. I was always, I was always surprised to have. Oh, he has there got he the beard. But he didn't. He hasn't. Well, he has got the fish hand. Then you can't tell. Maybe we'll have to ride Echo the Dolphin out at the end of this. <laughs> <level. laughs> Echo and Echo Junior. Terrible fucking movie. I you sucked it. I hated it. I fucking hated it. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate him so I just like to, to bring him up to annoy you. It was not an annoying game. It wasn't an annoying game. But it wasn't a badly made game. It was just a game I didn't like. It's like, oh, I love water levels. Not. Let's have an entire game based on water. Where you play as a dolphin that doesn't really have any powers. What are we fighting now? I don't know, something big. Or are we fighting the Mantra Flyers? Oh, we've got to fight. We're fighting the sub. I don't know how we fight the sub then. I don't know, I guess we keep staying behind this cover. I think we've got to smash stuff. <coughs> when in doubt, be the robots on first. Or have we got to use the lasers? I think we've got maybe we blow up Use the lasers things. to destroy these things. Yeah, yeah. We must use their own strength against them. I don't think that works. No, that's not what we do. Oh no, there's a thing to press. Right. Yeah, press it all the way. You get blown up. Right, so we turn one on. I like how Lex is just on that tiny little skimmer thing. <laughs> Where's his big mech suit? Yeah, you'd have thought he'd um, be rocking there. Well, I'm sure he'll escape and then we'll have to fight him again later. Just fix it. Yeah, so oh. you can't do it in two of it. There we go. I'm down. <laughs> I can't be any more down, at least. Oh, 
turns on. Yeah, for some reason that the on thing doesn't turn or work doesn't go away once you've turned it on. Fuck you, Lex Luthor. Where the fuck you going? Round because there's another one over there. <laughs> oh, all these interruptions truly necessary. Oh well, yeah, because you're doing bad things. And we don't want you to do the bad things. We want you to do the unbad oh, things. No, oh, when I designed my evil machine, I didn't think anyone would come in and try and press the buttons. You never expected button pressing to be the major power that superheroes would have. Is this the last one? Yeah, yeah, I suspect so. I didn't even notice the health bar was going back on, so... Yeah. I like how that, uh, thankfully, that um, turret is shooting you. Disable the mantra serve! We have to serve the mantra serve. We did it! That wasn't too bad at boss fight. Quickest one yet, I think. Yeah, it's only pretty pissy. It's the only one we haven't died. Classic Lex Luthor. Fucking hell, we have to fight yeah, mantra. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Disable Aquaman's force field generator. It's got fun shit. shit. Oh dear. Oh! Oh my! Oh, Aqualad, you are the worst fucking character in this game. Can't even beat up his own father. What all he needs to do like one. Not like you, you're always beating up your father, aren't you? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Every time he likes, says he likes the Morgana show, <laughs> you teach him a lesson. Well, that's a lesson that's worth learning, isn't it? <laughs> like the Morgana show is terrifying and really shit. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Why can't we fucking move properly? Because we're glitching in the corners. Oh, rockets everywhere. Come on, fucking move, you pricks! <laughs> I'm down. I don't even know what Aqualad is doing, he's doing aqua shits. Will everybody stop getting shot? I'm down. Oh, you fucking prick, Aqualad. Hopefully, when we get Aquaman out, he just takes that map for us. I'm down. Shit, so am I. No, we didn't. Tried to res so you. I thought, I thought it was the computer game in or... No, no, it's, it's the game being shit. Last one! Do you hear it or if you've got some? Power? Yeah, yeah, I just need to get in a position where we can both smash the shit out of it. Ugh, I could cocks down here. I can't get away from these bricks. Yay. Yeah, everyone disappears. <laughs> that was a pretty easy boss fight as well. No! Oh, now you can beat him. Ugh, oh, he's fucking gross with hands. He's Kevin Costner hands. <laughs> but he drinks his own piss like Kevin Costner as well. And like he does in the movie. If, if he hasn't figured out from the blatant way that you've just said that I'm your father, then that lad is a fucking idiot anyway. He's... 
Oh, yeah, just before he's gone undercover, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, this would be why he goes undercover. It. Michael Girl is going to be killed, and he'll be like, You pricks, everyone's lied to me. A surprise. <laughs>